Okay, so first off, I just want to say, I get it. You get what? High school. Kamala. Kamala. Another adventure shirt. Cute. She thinks I'm some kind of weirdo. You are a weirdo. Boys. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> you're kind of on my shirt. Sorry. But you're staring at the window in your little fantasy land. Kamala, hey. Already? Really? Come on, like... Do I have to figure out my whole future before lunch, or is there, like... Maybe they're right. I spend too much time in fantasy land. That is not to you. It's not really the brown girls from Jersey City who save the world. That's a fantasy, too. Something happened to you? No, why? Did you hear something? Come on out. What does it feel like? Cosmic. I always thought I wanted this kind of life. But I never imagined any of this. Do you know what you are? Miss Marvel is a new kind of superhero. But at the core of all of it, her story is so universal. Miss Marvel is one of the newer characters in the Marvel comics. And when one comes in that grabs the world's imagination like this, the questions are, when are we going to bring Miss Marvel to the screen? When Miss Marvel first came out, we had such an incredible reaction. It was so incredibly popular because everybody could see themselves in her. I never saw a young teenager of color, specifically a Pakistani, in a comic book. Are you kidding? You promised you'd be cool. I am cool. The casting process was vast. When we discovered Iman, we knew that she was Kamala Khan. It was a unanimous decision. Yeah, I can't comprehend this right now. And then, of course, we've got a really incredible team of directors. Bilal Falah, Adel Al-Arabi, Mira Menon, and Sharmin Obeid Chinoy. And all of them are taking the material and elevating it. So human, it's about a teenager figuring out who she is and about relationships. Family and friendship is at the heart of the MCU canon. That's what's so exciting about the story that we're bringing is that we're going to introduce you to a new family that's also going to be part of the wider MCU.